Welcome to Discovering Marty's Music. I'm talking about my album Afrikaans Sonder Grense. Now you can see it's starting to move into a storyline where you're moving from Natal all the way to Cape Town because that was my journey as well. I moved from Natal to Cape Town and my um, mom actually lives in Pretoria. So this next song is Trein na Pretoria, number nine. And um, this is a request by an English lady that asked, oh, can't you sing Trein na Pretoria? Because I was asking everybody what song should I include an uh, Afrikaans song into this. And I remember my mom sending me a CD of the Begrafnissangers and this song was on there. Or spending time in the operating room and somebody had fun and suggested this album so we had to listen to this while operating on the brain. It was an <laughs> interesting. So that's what the things that happen when you're uh, when you're asleep in the operating room. We listen to the brills in on op a train Pretoria. But I really like this song because it has a message. It's about um, somebody giving you a chance in life. The conductor didn't charge. For the train ride, the girl got to Pretoria where her mother was dying and she actually died. So this is <laughs> it's a very depressing song. And then um, when she gets back onto the train, the conductor sees her, what happened, and he ends up um, adopting her. So this is a good uh, ending story. And if you put it in context, Yanni and Sunny Brill that actually wrote the song both grew up in... Um, children's homes so that's just interesting of putting their dream in the song so that you know that to make to find that out made that extra special for me you know to try now do it and i did change the words a bit because uh i was a, a, a teardrop that was running from the one eye or something I, I know we changed the words a little bit to make the teardrop run run out the eye the right way <laughs> Sometimes you just have to, you know, tweak it a little bit. And I think later on I discovered that there's more verses. Uh, but I mean, I just knew about the ones that I was using at the time when I did the recording.